hello everybody welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to look over the top five best new features in mac os sequoia right now i'm using the beta version but the full original version will be released on october uh somewhere in fall on 2024 so right now my first and favorite feature in mac os sequoia is iphone mirroring so it's basically a feature where you can use your iPhone on your MacBook. So right now, let me just connect my iPhone. And there you go. Now I can use my iPhone like I normally would on my MacBook. And all the features work the same. Like if I open settings, I can type using my MacBook keyboard. And I can basically do everything. I can come up here and I can use these to go back to my home page or use this to swipe and get all my apps sparred up. So that's my first and favorite feature. The next feature is the Notes app. So the Notes app got a uh, lot of new updates. This includes some math calculations. Now, I showed this in my previous video, but this also works on a MacBook. If I do 11 plus 11 equals, and will come up as I want it to be. If I do natty equals, three thousand one two three four whatever and then if i do this then i can input some random numbers and then i can say this divided by or any signal i want this times this equals and will do it for me i can do this plus equals and then we'll continuously solve the equation however i wanted to solve it there you go and it's a really really useful feature for those who use the apple notes app to take notes specifically for math the next advancement is in the calculators app now instead of being a plain calculator you can now use some of the new features math notes is the one i co covered previously on the previous step now it's uh, now you can change the normal calculator from basic to scientific, which would add all these new sci mathematical equations. Then you can even add change it to programmer, which then you can see all these binary or non-binary unicodes. So these are some of the new features in the new calculators app, and they can be really, really useful for programmers or for people that use the calculators app on their calculator while on their MacBook while they're taking notes. The next mini update that I would like to list today is the new wallpapers that have been brought to Mac OS. So this is the dark version. This is the light version of the Mac OS. Right now it's listed at Mac OS beta, but when they officially release it, I believe it will probably be changed to Mac OS Sequoia. But I like to set this to automatic if i do use it then i can have this sequoia background the next one is also the macintosh wallpaper which looks something like this and it all these the two wallpapers brought in this new update are going to be uh, connected with your screensaver so it can be a diverse um shift between your screen cover into your workspace so Sometimes people would like to have it on random, but you are also able to pick through the a bunch of different colors. I prefer dark gray and as I prefer the darker look, but you can also have it any color. You can have it from blue to purple, any color you guys prefer. The next mini update I would like to list in this video is the productivity features. Now, unlike before, you are now able to shift your apps to the location that you want them to the top end screen to the bottom anywhere on the top corners or the bottom corners instead of before it used to be just these two but now we finally got an update that takes it to a whole new level of productivity i had to use um third-party apps for this feature so i'm glad that Apple finally decided to add this. Right now, a feature I'm expecting in the next macOS update is the 
uh, some controls or customization in the new control center as on the iphone we are now able to customize everything basically so i'm excited to see when this will come to mac os anyway this has been the end this is the end of this video if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you like and subscribe and see you in the next one